Valentine's Day 2020 is also trending. Uh, the table shaker says when Sim 1 finally met Sim 2, the thing you have turned to Royal Rumble. Sit back and relax, grab a glass of wine like me, and we celebrate our Valentine's alone. Uh, another one from Makin says Valentine with nobody is not a problem. The problem starts when you see everyone is in love except for you. He sends a meme of a cat with a toothbrush. And uh, let me take one final one. A man's not Barry tweets. He says, How many of us are spending Valentine's Day alone? He asks. Retweet if you are on the team. Then Mama back in to, uh, comes to tweet and says, Me all day. Put some emojis say you can't come and stress my stress. Hashtag mm. Valentine's with nobody. And it's happy chocolate day. A piece of my heart is safe just for you. That's it for the midday news here on Joy 99.7 FM. I am MFA Apo. Dr. Mensa Otabel has lived and worked. Join us at the Labadi Beach Hotel tonight. <laughs> Get ready for a Valentine's Day with a difference. The love experience. A night of love songs, good food, great company with you and that special someone. Ask no questions. Have no doubts. Just come and wine and dine with live band sessions from the music goddess Becca and the ever smooth Kwabna Kwabna. There'll be karaoke sessions, a special love hunt, and the Knowing Me Knowing You segment. It promises to be lit with loads of giveaways and surprises. And the best part is you get to have a cozy night stay at the Plush Labadi Beach Hotel and wake up to the sunrise with breakfast on the beach. Just give us a call on 0540-106466 for reservations. The rate is a cool 2,000 Ghana CDs for couple for the full package including bed and breakfast and 700 Ghana CDs for the concert night which includes food and drink. To buy your tickets for the love experience with Becca and Kwabna Kwabna via Momo, just dial star 920 star 50 Hush. Select the buy ticket option and select option three to purchase it. The love experience, the true meaning of love. This is the open house party. This show is all about the hottest tracks, the latest hits, the freestyles, the amazing guests. The live phone is, it's your number one Saturday night show, the open house party on the number one radio station, 8 p.m. to 12 p.m. night with the one and only DJ Black. Hashtag open house party on all social media platforms. It's the open house party here on Joy 99.7 FM. Multimedia Group Limited, in partnership with SES, KNET, and WillowAfric.com's e-learning project Willow TV, presents Joy Learning, a channel dedicated to providing educational content for all levels. The channel launches with a special focus on senior high school educational content because we believe in nourishing the minds of the future generation. Joy Learning is providing equal access to education, no matter whom you are and where you are in Ghana. Joy Learning collaborates with SES, KNET, and Willow TV to deliver a new learning experience. Study with Ghana's top teachers and lecturers on the Joy Learning Channel so individuals, senior high schools, community centers, and libraries get your multi-TV digital box now. Joy Learning. Keep learning. If we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. Winning strategies, nuggets of wisdom, unforgettable stories, all in one inspirational hour. Springboard your virtual university with Albert and Comfort Okran and guests. Planning is bringing the future into the present. A job is for the salary, is mundane, is survival oriented, and there's no passion. But a career has fulfillment, innovation, drive, a growth path is clear, and you can build step by step all the way to the top. Matriculate at 7 p.m. and graduate at 8 p.m. every Sunday on Joy 99.7 FM and live on Facebook. Springboard is brought to you by Legacy and Legacy and Joy 99.7 FM and proudly sponsored by MTN, Enterprise Group, UMB Bank, and Axis Pension Trust with support from the graphic business. There's only one place to set your mood right when it's a Friday night. The Weekend Warmer with DJ Black. All the hot throwbacks, all the hottest tracks, all the light phonies, everything.
think that's going to make you laugh and put your mood right on a Friday? The weekend warmer on Joy 99.7 FM with DJ Black, 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. Yeah. Slamming and breaking down the hits with DJ Black on the weekend warmer. Weekend warmer. Yeah. Yes, my people. Yes, weekend warmer with DJ Black on Joy FM. Joy 99.7 FM. Bringing hope to many around the globe. Transforming lives into legacies. Live in Word with Pastor Mensa Otterville. And now, today's word. Unfortunately in life, when you are under pressure and treasure is coming, is coming out of you, you look around, you find nobody. Because everybody has quit. Everybody has given up. So if you want encouragement, I'm sorry. You turn to your right and to your left. Nobody. Everybody is telling, hey, give up. This is too hard. It's like a woman who is trying to get a PhD with three children. And especially if you are working and trying to get a PhD and you have three children and you have a very traditional Ghanaian husband. <laughs> I'm telling you, you have no encouragement. Your children are not encouraging you. Children are not encouraging them. Mommy, 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 my food, mommy. Please understand, mommy, mommy. They have no understanding. Your husband wants his meal at the right time. Your boss is demanding deadlines from you. Your supervisor wants you to finish that paper. It's called pressure. Hard pressed, perplexed, persecuted. Who is going to help me? Nobody. Because you are on a lonely path. The majority are down. Going nowhere. You have forced yourself out. You have no companion. And if you try getting advice from your friends, they will discourage you. They say, what are you doing? You want to kill yourself? You want to kill yourself just for PhD? You want to kill yourself? But the day you get that degree and have those three stripes here and you get bigger job opportunity, they're going to say, yeah, God has blessed you. No, 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 no. It's pressure. So Paul says hard press on every side and then he talks about struck down this is the hard part struck down is to be put down when people want to humiliate you but he says not destroy after all you have gone through you hope that people will appreciate what you are doing but nope this is when they want to put you down why are you killing yourself is it your father's work don't you have anything better doing no man will marry you. You can never achieve it. Hard pressed, perplexed, persecuted, struck down. This is the kind of pressure. And the Paul is saying because we have this treasure sitting inside of us. That's why we're going through that. And he ends by saying, always crying about the death so that life will come out of us. Constantly, every day you die, so you'll be alive. The quality you produce in life 
listen to me carefully. The quality you produce in life is directly related to the pressure you have submitted yourself under. The quality you produce in life is directly related to the pressure you submitted yourself to. When he said, make pure oil, he said, from olives beaten, so they may produce pure oil. In other words, the process produces the quality. If the process is not good, the quality output would not be good. So what do you think God has been doing with you all this time? He's not allowing you to rest. You want to give up to him, he won't let you give up. You want to surrender to him, he won't let you surrender. You want to say it's enough, he says it's not enough. It's called pressure. We don't pray for it, it comes. It's never a prayer topic. Have you ever gone to a meeting where somebody says, shall we pray? That the Lord will give us pressure. No. You just say, Lord, I worship you. Then he gives you the pressure. No. I mean, that's his job. You don't have to pray for it. Don't add your prayer to it. He will give it to you anyway. All right. Pressure releases the treasure in us. Second Corinthians chapter 7 verse 5. This is Paul speaking again. He says, For indeed, when we came to Macedonia, our bodies had no rest. But we are troubled on every side. Outside were conflict, inside were fears. <clears throat> Two levels of pressure. Outside and inside quickly. First, let's look at pressure from outsiders. The first pressure from outside of us is what God has called us to be. This is what we believe God wants from us. If you believe God wants you to be the head and not the tail, that's pressure. God wants you to prosper, that's pressure. God wants you to be healed, that's pressure. Because if you don't expect it, you have nothing to do and to worry about. The demands of God on us. How many of you believe God has a purpose for your life? Uh, oh, wave your hand. Wave your, please don't hide your hand at this time. Okay, your hand down. How many of you know what that purpose is? Or you think you know what that purpose is? Okay, most of you don't know. But you think there is a purpose for you. Now one of the things you have to do in life is to find out what purpose God has for you. Not that he has a purpose, but you have to know what it is. Because that is what you then call your calling. Your calling. May not be a pastor. Not everybody is called to be a pastor. If you're called to be a billionaire, that's your calling. Called to own industries, that's your calling. Calls to raise children, that's your calling. Call to make people feel better, that's your calling. Call to build a hospital, that's your calling. Once you accept a calling, it will put pressure on you. It will put pressure on you. So, what God is demanding from us is the first point of pressure. The second point of pressure is the demands of those who need us. Those who need us come in different forms. They include those who are above us who need a certain high output from us. It could be your coach, it could be your trainer, it could be your pastor, it could be your boss, but the person has a high standard for you to meet. They place demands on you. It could be those who depend on you to live. It could be your spouse, your children. As we grow older, our parents, one of the reasons why you put pressure on yourself is because of your children. You want them to have a better life. That puts pressure on you. You don't want your children going through life and people laughing at them because they don't have basic necessities. That puts pressure on you. 
demands of those who need us and the schemes of those who want to, to destroy us at every point in time someone or something needs you out of the way their success requires your failure at every point in time a lion wants to eat either a zebra or an antelope it has nothing to do with hatred it has all to do with survival your success is making somebody fail and as an instinctive desire to survive they have to get you out of the way not everybody out, who wants you out of the way hates you it's just that their lives depend on it yeah if you are a politician you want to win an election you think the other guy is going to look at you and smile and say oh, <laughs> we love each other no he has to make sure you lose because there's only one winner does he hate you no he just has to make sure his calling is fulfilled don't interpret that as failure it is, it is people need to survive that's why sometimes you say I don't know this but they hate me for nothing they hate, I haven't done them anything you haven't done them anything but if you stand they will fall it's not personal so that's pressure if you are an antelope and you wake up it's pressure you have to make sure the lion doesn't get you the hyena doesn't get you the tiger doesn't get you the leopard doesn't get you the jaguar doesn't get you the puma doesn't get you all of these guys wake up in the morning and you are their target do they hate you? no they need food and you are food so you must determine I will not be fooled. I will not be fooled. It is called pressure to survive. Pressure from outside. Let me close with pressure from within us. Paul says we have pressure outside, pressures within. The first pressure within us that helps us to succeed is fear of failing in our mission. Anyone who has no fear of failing, I don't know that person. You are a joke in life. Because every serious person is afraid of failing. The Apostle Paul himself was afraid of failing. This is how he puts it in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 27. But I discipline my body and bring it into subjection. Lest when I have preached to others, I myself become disqualified. In other words, Paul says... I can be disqualified, I can fail and because I want to, I don't want to fail, I put myself under pressure. Fear of failure. Do I want to fail? No. So because I don't want to fail, I have to constantly put myself under pressure because it's not good to, to be successful for 40 years. A new pastor just started church somewhere and his target is my members. Do I hate him? No. Me too, I targeted people's members. So he's also targeting my members. I just have to make sure that after all these years, I don't become disqualified. So Paul says, I put pressure on myself. Why am I still preparing better sermons after 40 years? Pressure. Pressure. what it is. That's what it is. It's not hatred. The second thing that gives us pressure from within is the realization of our own limitations. When you know what you don't know. When you don't know what you don't have. When you know what you, you, you are not able to do. You put pressure on yourself. You don't become overconfident. You don't wear a crown. You don't sit on the throne and judge yourself the best because you know your limitation. As good as you are, you still have limitations. You have inadequacies. And the third reason, 
pressure from within is the ambition to be the best for God. The ambition to be the best. Ambition can be negative, but ambition is positive. I'll just read to you a few verses and then we close. From the Apostle Paul on his ambition. In Romans chapter 15 verse 20, this is what Paul says. So I have made it my aim to preach the gospel.